Prosset Dibs is not only an interesting character, but I think he perfectly illustrates something that I love about the Star Wars universe. Prosset was introduced in the Mace Windu comic, which was a series that I personally just was not into. And yet, when the character resurfaced in the Darth Vader comic, I was instantly excited about it. I think it's worth pointing out that for whatever reason, Star Wars has this ability to tell stories about things that I previously had zero interest in, and then shed new light on them. Another recent example is the Dr. Aphra comic, teaching us more about Borgullet from Rogue One. That is my least favorite part of that movie, but even still, I was ready and excited to learn more about his species. But Prosset Dibs kind of opened my eyes to this phenomenon. After I finished the Mace Windu comic, if someone had asked me, hey, do you want to see what happens to that guy that betrayed Mace after the comic? I'd have said, no, not really. But instead, they introduced a new Inquisitor and then casually dropped that it's the same guy and in hindsight, of course it is, but I wasn't looking for him and now I think it's such a cool connection that makes perfect sense and I love it. So this is the story of Prosset Dibs. Shortly after the Battle of Geonosis, the Jedi caught word of droid operations on the planet Hisrik. Mace Windu chose a team of Jedi to investigate, including Kit Fisto, recently promoted Jedi Knight Rissa Mano, and Prosset Dibs, who was blind but had strong intuition through the Force. They traveled to the planet where they immediately encountered and destroyed Separatist forces. The natives of Hisrik took the Jedi to underground caverns where they were separated. Fisto and Dibs came across a mass grave of the locals, and the blind Jedi voiced his opinions that the Jedi had failed in maintaining peace. Kit claimed that all they could do now was keep the loss of life to a minimum. After discovering that Hisrik was being mined by the Separatists for its valuable resources, Dibs became convinced that their mission was not to save the people of Hisrik, but secure the planet for strategic reasons. He accused Mace Windu of misleading them, and the two came to blows until Dibs was bested. He was taken back to the Jedi Council, where he was placed on probation, confined to working in the Jedi Archives. For the next three years, Prosset continued his fall to the dark side and must have been spared from the Jedi Purge. He joined the ranks of the Imperial Inquisitors alongside several other fallen Jedi, and he was named the Tenth Brother. One year after the rise of the Galactic Empire, he joined Darth Vader, the Sixth Brother, and the Ninth Sister to Mon Cala, where a Jedi was rumored to be hiding. The Inquisitors tracked down their former ally and cornered him with their specialized clone troopers. But the Jedi used a mind trick of some sort to activate Order 66 again, and they opened fire on all the Force users, including the Inquisitors. The Tenth Brother was killed in the crossfire. Prosset Dibs' story has only been told in two comics so far. The five-issue Mace Windu miniseries and the Burning Seas arc of the Darth Vader comic. Like I said before, I don't think I could really recommend the Mace Windu comic just because there wasn't a lot about it I was into. But the Darth Vader comic has been non-stop awesome, and I'll be honest, the reveal of the Tenth Brother's identity kind of made it worth it to me. It made me retroactively enjoy the Mace comic a lot more. And I think it's pretty awesome that Star Wars has this ability to take concepts that are just okay one minute and make them insanely enjoyable the next. But that's all I'll cover today. I'd love to hear what you guys think of Prosset Dibs, or the Mace Windu comic, or the Darth Vader comic in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.